Darling, can you please come? I like to make a guide about cooking in Aquat. Okay, show me. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Phipps and in this video I tell you why it is so important to know how to cook in Arcworld. Why do I need to cook in Arcworld? There are four different types of buff food. We can use them all at the same time and this buff food makes us way stronger. And secondly, we can also craft healing potions and mana potions which comes very handy in long fights. Okay, so what do I need to start cooking? We need a cooking station. We can build one in our house. The ingredients we need for the buff food, the ordinary spell book, we need that all of the time. We need grain, spices and meat. And then we need the cooking spices. The spell book we can craft with lumber, ore and fabric. I made a guide with it. It also costs a little bit of archaeum and labor. The name is confusing, spell book. But it is a material that adds magic to whatever we craft. And we need that magic for our buff food as well. Grains we gather from harvesting rice, millet, wheat and barley and spices from harvesting roses, vanilla, saffron and thistle. Meat we can obtain by slaughtering our livestock. We can farm pigs, turkey, yatas and beers. Cooking spices we can simply buy from an NPC for 10 silver. After we get out all of that items, let's start with the cooking. Okay, let's start with the shashlik. Let's do two of it. We get 10 pieces each per craft. Shashlik is the cheapest one. Okay, the second one is cookies. For that we already need the brown soil extra. And perfect for the cookies are some coffee or whatever that drink is. Here we have to add also some more of the brown soil. We get that by the way from our farm anyways. And then the strongest buff food from this four versions is the special dish. Looks like a soup. It requires additional brown sap which we get dropped from trees. And also more quantity of the ingredients. It also requires a higher tier spellbook. I mentioned you can use all of the buff foods at the same time in order to be maximum buffed and prepared for the upcoming raid. Take 4 out of 4 from this buff food. Each of that buff food gives us different option of buffs. Unfortunately it's not translated in English yet. But good that I speak Korean. Okay, I don't. But we have Google lenses. I hold my phone over the screen and I get it translated in real time. So let's have a look at these buffs. The first one is Shashlik. It gives us 30 minutes either melee attack power, range attack power, healing power or ability power. I think they mean magic damage increased with that. And the last option is threat increased. Perfect for tanks. The second one is cookies. Also 30 minutes. We can choose between 500 HP or 1500 vitality, that means 1500 mana. Then we have the coffee, also 30 minutes. Attack, success rate, the hit rate, I guess. Evasion, that's the opposite of the hit rate, not getting hit. Physical defense, perfect if you wear clothes. Magic defense, perfect if you wear plate, like me. And then the fourth option, the special dish. The first one is damage to NPCs, PvE damage plus 12%. Second one is 
5% damage and this includes also PvP, so not only non-player characters. And the last option is reduce damage 12%. I guess that's the best version for tanks and also healers. This is all tier 1 buff food and everyone can craft it. If you want to take stronger buff food, the tier 2 buff food, we need a more advanced cooking station. In my rate, no one will get any rewards if they do not have buff food. Since a raid takes mostly 1 to 2 hours, always have enough buff food in your inventory. By the way, if you die, you will lose your buff food and you have to buff up again. Before I continue with a very important tip, please do me a favor and support this channel. For the YouTube algorithm, we need more reaction on these videos. So please press the thumbs up, write a comment. Maybe you have a question about cooking or another proficiency in Arcworld. And subscribe to the channel if you like to know more about Arcworld and my content. Okay, without further ado, let's continue. Back to the video. I said I have one more tip for you. You maybe noticed that in Arcworld we have different climates. We have the temperate, the subarctic, the tropical and dry. For each of these four climates we have seeds which match to these climates. And it makes a huge difference. I tested for you to build all of the different seeds and livestock in different areas. And here's what happened. Livestock or pens are even named small if they are not built in the right climate. The time until we can harvest is the same, but the outcome is different. We gather more from seeds and the pens placed in the optimal climate. Instead of two, we get three of the same items. And it feels that we also get more of these rare drops. This is a limited selection of seeds and pens, etc. we can plant right now. So if you're watching this one from the future, good for you. Maybe you have already bananas and many more items. But this is what we have right now. Hopefully it will change because it might look a little bit boring because if everyone doing his job right, every region will pretty much look the same. Since per region we have only one optimal seed or tree or livestock and so on. Okay, so let's prepare our farm for cooking. So let's plant our seeds for our climate to get the grains, the spices and also for our meat. It is very nice if we can craft even the spell books ourselves. So we need to put some trees here for the lumber, also good for the brown sub. We also need iron, so let's put down some mining drills here. The fabric, which is the last item we need for the magic spell books we gather from our plants and even from the livestock, anyways, in mass. All right, that looks like a good farm to cook some food the next day. Of course, that works also with smaller farms, so no worries. You might just craft less food. Important is to know which materials is needed and how you plan to plant and harvest. Don't forget, it costs a lot of time and a lot of labor. So if you don't want to do it, just buy them from other players in the auction house. I hope you learned something today and you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to know more about Arcworld, I put the video here and the video here. And if you didn't subscribe, you have a chance now. Just click on that turtle and see you in the next video. Bye for now.